Effective 25th November 2022, Grab has disabled and disallowed all top-ups to prepaid e-wallets like Utrip, BigPay and all these revolute multi-currency wallets. And not only that, all your PayNow QR merchants like SingLive and Scythe, all these fintech organizations that previously allowed top-up by PayNow QR from GrabPay is already disabled as well. And I know that this is really a major bad news for all GrabPay users. But in this video, I'll discuss what are the alternatives and what is my plan going forward. Now you see the GrabPay annual limit is at $30,000 per annum. And that means an average of 2.5k spending per month. And I know a lot of people have been fully utilizing this GrabPay annual limit because they can do top-ups to other prepaid wallets like Utrip, like BigPay, like Revolut, right? Especially Revolut. But you see, all this is coming to an end now. And this is not the first nerf by Grab. Firstly, they had the Grab Reward Points devaluation. Then second, Secondly, they also have disabled the credit card stacking method because your reward points are no longer earning 1.2% from a lot of merchants other than FMB. And you see, that has already crippled my credit card strategy of stacking. And for a lot of you users as well, because you all have been using the Amex to grab pay hack where you can get a total of 2.7% to 2.9%. But all this is gone. And you see, now people are unable to fully utilize the 30k annual limit of Grab with all these major nerfs. Now, especially for overseas travel spend, you folks will likely be the most impact because if you are talking about multi-currency wallets like Revolut and Utrip, Revolut is really good for overseas cash withdrawals, right? Because they allow your first $350 of Singapore dollars worth to be withdrawn at overseas ATM for free and at very competitive rates. So if you are not able to top up Revolut with Grab Pay, you are losing that 1.5% to 1.7% opportunity when you're topping up your GrabPay wallet with the UOB Absolute or the Amex True Cashback card. And for Utrip as well, because a lot of you think that Utrip has the best FX rates, the lowest FX press, and have top up your Utrip wallets with GrabPay. And then you will use your Utrip card overseas, whether you want to do cash withdrawals at a fee of $5, or you want to pay MasterCard merchants using your Utrip card. That has always been the overseas travel spend strategy. But with GrabPay disabling and nerfing all the top ups to prepaid wallets, this will come to an end. Anyway, if you really want to take a look at the latest news on credit card nerfs, on like TV results, SSB results, or even the best deals, right? Then do join my Telegram group at Honey Money SG because I will give my first hand updates right there. And I did record a previous video on Amaze versus Utrip, which has not been published yet. So now I have to add some disclaimer on that because of this recent grab pay nerf. But you see about traveling overseas and doing overseas spam. If you all were using Utrip, why are you still using Utrip now with Grab Pay Nerf? So I guess Instagram Amaze will be your best bet because I've always talked about Instagram Amaze being the lower FX spread than banks and also able to convert your spending to online spending, which is a real major benefit for card holders like City Rewards, like City Cashback Cards, and even Maybank Family and Friends, all these Mastercards. So for those people who are affected because you're using Grill Trip Wallet, maybe it's time for you to finally decide to use Amaze and you can sign up for Amaze using my referral link down below. I know your pain learning about investing because when you try to read about market news, company news, it's all scattered around the internet and information is so difficult to find. And the most annoying thing is sometimes when you click on an article, it is locked behind a paid subscription or a paywall. Now with Momo Singapore, you can get everything, every news consolidated for free and it's all convenient under one app. For example, if I click into Tesla and look at the financials, I can take a look at the revenue news, the indicators, the estimates, and the financial statements. Even interesting information like a pie chart for revenue and also important business data like total vehicle deliveries and deliveries by model types. Now, even better news is that Momo Cash Plus has upsized to 5% per annum guaranteed rewards. So for example, if you put in $10,000 for 3 months, you get a guaranteed $123 return. And return is 100% guaranteed, redeem anytime with no locking with absolutely zero fee and if you manage to get one new friend to sign up for Momo, you get an extra month of rewards. So Momo is indeed a great platform to trade stocks with many unique, easy to use tools within the app itself. So check out my link down below in the description and pin comment to sign up for Momo today. 
But let's think about the bigger picture, right? What is the potential impact on this major nerf to grab pay users, to grab as a company and an organization that is listed in the US? Fundamentally, there are going to be much less grab pay transactions, whether via grab pay wallet, grab pay card, or grab pay pay now QR, because there is much less use cases. Previously, we could still use your grab pay card, okay, and earn 1.2%. That was the earlier days. And then now, we cannot even use your grab pay card to top up e wallets. We cannot even use pay now to pay our fintech merchants to top up the funds there. So along this supply chain of grab pay stacking, then you realize that less people would actually sign up for credit cards like your American Express True Cashback or your UOB Absolute Cashback because these are the two credit cards that gives you 1.5% to 1.7% cashback by topping up grab pay wallet and that's not excluded for now, for now, okay? Because I must stress this for now thing every time because terms may change nerf may happen faster than you think and another card is amex high flyer card which i also have because it gives you 1.8 mile per dollar which is really good for grab pay wallet top-ups but it's only eligible for those people who have registered their business with accra but you know with less usage also means that less people are able to earn grab reward points and that means your grab pay time limited deals your rewards flash deals flash sales all these may have less participation especially like your grab challenges as well where you need to hit a minimum spend and a minimum number of transactions to earn that bonus reward points so less people are going to take part in it there may be more opportunity for grab rewards redemptions or they may just nerf it all together because they see that not many people redeeming already what so what's the point of giving so attractive gifts so maybe that's the shining ray out of the dark clouds Maybe it's easier for you to redeem Grab Rewards, who really knows? But amid all the really bad news, at least there's some good news right here is that Grab Pay Card can still be used for payment at AXS stations for now. Because we all know that AXS Mobile Portal or ePortal has been a really useful case for you to use your Grab Pay Card to pay your government organizations like IRAs, you want to pay income tax, or you want to pay your insurance companies, your insurance premiums. Okay, all this can be done via the AXS station. And they are still accepting Grab Pay Card as of now. So you have to select credit card as payment, then input your grab pay card details. Also, you are still able to top up your grab pay wallets with prepaid wallets. Like you have funds in your big pay, you have funds in a maze, you can still use them to top up to grab pay. And that is for now because I think by the time I've come up this video, grab will introduce another nerf again and then my information may be invalid. So you see, when we are talking about credit card nerfing, there is an input and an output, right? Right now, the output is nerfed because your grab rewards are less attractive. Your grab pay usage is going to be weakened. All these are all output. Okay, what about the input wise? That is the last straw. When Amex, your American Express True Cashback or your UOB Absolute Amex Cashback has nerfed the rewards for topping up your grab pay wallet. And that means that you're not able to get that 1.7% to 1.5% cashback, right? That is really the last straw because first your output is already nerfed, your rewards no more, you cannot use for top up. And now your input is already nerfed, then that's really the end ready because no point to sign up for these credit cards to top up grab pay because grab pay cannot use then you also don't get rewards then it will be a really useless horse so yes this is a really short video to update on the recent grab pay nerf and what are the alternatives of it maybe for people who are using utrip you can go and consider using a maze now and that's when you can take a look at why am i still using my instagram a maze after one year despite some changes to the program and i'll see you in that video